Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a fun little spa day with me. And I'm also going to be doing a fun Q&A that I asked you guys on my Instagram. If you guys want to be a part of all the fun questions, polls, and things like that that I do use for my YouTube channel, make sure to follow me on Instagram at sydneyjansen underscore beauty. And yeah, let's jump right in. So as you can see, I just showered. I worked out, showered, did my skincare routine in the shower. If you guys don't know my skincare routine, I will make sure to link that below for you guys. I have wet hair. Usually on my day offs, so I just let my hair air dry. As many days that I can use less heat products, I will. So to start off, I'm just gonna put a headband on. It's really dirty because I used to do my makeup with it. Cool. Not that cute, but it's okay. Okay, so first, for my little spa day with you guys. I am going to be using the Mario Badescu, I think that's how you say it, skincare. It is the facial spray that has aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I literally just got this yesterday. People rave about it, and so I figured I'll try it out. I already used it yesterday. I mean, obviously I don't really see a difference yet, but I feel like it's just natural and good for your face, so I'm going to spray that all over. I'll be generous about it. I'm just gonna let that air dry. While that dries, let's dive into some Q and A's. I'm so excited. So I'm giving everyone that did do a question on here a shout out. Emma Bartleson, she asked five questions. Thank you, girl. You should do makeup, haha, -ha, please. If you don't know, it's my boyfriend. Should I say his name? Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, you should do so-and-so's makeup, ha ha ha, please. All I can say to that is he would not want to. It would be so hard to get his butt in front of the camera. And even if I did, it'd probably just be a bad video. Like, it would, I don't know. I can ask. Otherwise, you know, any friends out there that wanna, you know, do my makeup, or do each other's makeup, I'm game anytime. Next, another idea, do each other's makeup blindfolded. I'm in, lol. That would be awesome. I think, I think that'd be really hard and really interesting to see how it would turn out. So yeah, I like that idea. I will definitely have to have someone do that with me. So if you wanna do that, hit me up, you know how. What's your main goal with makeup? Do you want it to be your career, own a salon? I would say, my main goal with makeup, if you don't know, like Rejuve, they do Botox, lip fillers, different things like that for people. I definitely want to do more of that for, I don't want to say money reasons, but I'll just get a better income with that, but I feel like I'll still enjoy the cosmetic side of it. But on the side, I do still want to do makeup, so cosmetology, I'll still say blushed beauty bar if you know them look them up they have great services so microblading eyelashes but they also do people's makeup for events and all that but also I think it'd be great to be able to keep doing my YouTube channel and make money from it because you can make money obviously doing YouTube that's how people have this as their career how they have this as their job um I think that'd be great to eventually have this as an income as well. I would definitely still want a main job, but just to be able to do makeup on the side and still have fun and have an income, I think that would be great. So yeah, I would say that's what I want to mainly do. Where is your makeup a video place? I don't know what it's called, the setup. So yeah, my makeup setup. You guys are going to laugh at me. I am in my parents' basement. You heard it. I live in a small condo with my boyfriend. There's no room for me to even have a setup like this. Um, and I'm always coming home anyway. So I thought might as well. And my parents are grateful enough to let me take a portion of their basement and create this nice setup behind me. And yeah. So every time you watch me, I'm in my parents' basement. 
Do you do your makeup every day? If so, how long does it take you? I don't do my makeup every day. Um, I am all about skincare. I don't think it's healthy for your skin to have makeup on your face all the time. It's kind of bad for your pores. Love makeup, but I also think it's very important to have good uh, skincare routine. So I do my makeup for work. I work five times a week because um, I am also a full-time student. Um, so I guess I do do my makeup a lot, but otherwise if I have a wedding or just other events I maybe want to do my makeup for. Otherwise, like today, I didn't work. I didn't do my makeup once. Um, so yeah. But it does take me probably 20 minutes. Since I do fake eyelashes now, and I have to like glue them on, it does take me a little bit longer to add that in there. But yeah, I would say 20 minutes. And that probably sounds long to some people, but. So next, I'm gonna be putting on Pacifica Pineapple Flower Pineapple Flower Oil-Free Matte Mist. You guys have seen me use this in my skincare routine. Multi free I'll just spray that all over as well. And this, this like spray bottle, like comes out in a line, like it doesn't like spray. So, I probably just got a bad bottle. But it like, it comes out weird. Okay, well, that is drying. Let's ask some more. Kayla Webster asks, what do you use to wash your face with? I have the St. Ives face wash, so I have acne control, blackhead, and then also just, um, what's it called, fresh skin or clear skin. Um, I will link that below because that is in my skincare routine. I just use that in the shower. I love it. I mean, it's like a miracle worker for me. I can't imagine not using it. It's definitely changed my face and how my acne is and so yeah I definitely would recommend St. Ives. They have a bunch to choose from too. So I have a ton of face masks. I have like, I have two other ones my friends gave me. I mean I just have a lot. So I should have asked you guys which one I should do. Let's do aloe. I feel like I should soothe my skin. I mean, I don't know. Isn't it cute? I love these packets. I honestly, I always hate using my my face mask because, I mean, it's not like they're expensive, but it makes me sad because then it's gone. And applying these, I'm gonna look so funny. Oh my god, it's so, look at this. Can you see it? It's like, it's so wet. It's like jelly. Like you can see the, like the actual, you know, aloe. Ooh, it smells good. Oh. You guys are gonna get screenshots of this. <laughs> I'm gonna look so weird. Oh, I forgot to put the nose piece down. I always do that. I want to know a fun fact. I used to think that face mask, you put them on your face and then you wash your face after. <laughs> but nope, you're supposed to put it on. And then once you're done, rub the rest into your face. Didn't know that. Ugh. Ew. See, I can't. I just can't. It's just, it's too much. 20 minutes? Oh my lord. Okay, you guys didn't ask enough freaking questions for me to <laughs> have this on my face for 20 minutes. So, okay guys. 20 minutes, the countdown starts now. Okay, Elizabeth Mulcahy said, how did you start getting into YouTube videos? Okay, so I, I hate that I have to talk with this thing on my face, but you know what, we're gonna ignore that. My nose looks hella big too, ignore that. Anyway, um, me and my friends have always watched YouTube videos, whether it was makeup videos or prank videos, just like, all of them. I feel like YouTube is a great platform for people to learn, for people to teach, and just express themselves in any way, shape, or form. I think that's just amazing that you can do this for free and you can learn on YouTube for free. So that is one of the reasons um, within the past year I started really thinking about it and just contemplating like, you know, I could really do this. And yes, at first it was, you know, I can make money from doing this, like it'd be great, but 
Um, I don't want that in my mind of, oh, I'm only doing this for money, because that's not true. Um, I thought this was a great way to express myself because at the beginning of this year, I really realized, you know, nursing just isn't for me. And when I realized, you know, makeup is my passion and just cosmetology in general, I thought, you know, YouTube would be a great way for me to grow as a person and as a makeup artist. And I mean, I have like, I can already see growth in myself. You guys probably won't be able to see it yet in my videos, but like, I can just see the growth in myself as a person. Yeah, I would say that's why I started. Um, just to grow as a person and to express myself and how I really feel about, you know, my career as a person in this generation. I feel like more people in our generation are going towards careers that make them happy instead of just money hungry. I feel like it's important to have a career that makes you happy and not just revolve it around money. I feel like when we're growing up, so many people say you have to choose a career that gets you the most amount of money that you possibly can. And honestly, I don't think that's true at all. Yes, you need to make good money, you need to make sure you pick a good career that makes you stable, but you should be able to pick a career that makes you happy at the same time. So that's kind of why I decided to do cosmetology. I mean, doing esthetician work, you still make bank. I mean, honestly, you'll probably end up making more money as an esthetician than I ever would being a nurse in this area. So, I mean, it's a win-win for me, the fact that I like esthetician work and I'll be able to make good money still. But, I mean, I would way rather do a job that I love than a job that I regret five years down the road. So, that's kind of why I started YouTube, to more express myself and to kind of just more realize that this is what I want to do. And it's definitely confirmed that, which I'm happy about. So the reason I'm keeping doing it is just, you know, learn new things, you know, learn product. I mean, this is a great way to grow as a person, as a makeup artist, because you just, you're surrounded by makeup all the time. You're like trying new products um, and just growing. I mean, there's always room for growth, which I think that's amazing. And yeah, so that's why I'm doing YouTube. Okay, so Gabrielle, I'm horrible. I I suck at pronouncing last names. Milk, milk. Sorry. Love you, girl. I just suck at pronouncing names, so you know who you are. <laughs> you asked thoughts on fake eyelashes. I really love them. I feel like it totally changes the look of your makeup. Ever since I started using strip lashes, you know, just glue ons, it's totally changed how my like eyeshadow looks and just overall makeup. And I've actually gotten way more compliments when I wear them compared to if I don't. I used to wear fake, like I used to actually get eyelashes done, like professionally, but then I got allergic to their glue and so then I couldn't. And I've had them got them done for like almost a year, but then my body just ended up getting allergic to it, which happens. So I now use glue-ons and I definitely would recommend it if you're trying to get into them. Um, and I know it's frustrating at first because you probably suck at them. Honestly, I sucked at them in high school. But honestly, just like anything else, practice makes perfect. So yeah, I love fake eyelashes. Um, totally just makes your makeup look better, I feel like. I have four minutes left, so you know what? I'm gonna just take this off. Finish up with you guys. Oh, do I look better? So now it tells me to rub it into my face. But honestly, how do you rub this into your face? Like, it's not gonna get dry. I know what I need. I need like one of those rollers. I kinda wanted to get one because those are supposed to be really good for your skin. It's literally just like a marble roller and you roll it on your skin. Literally just what I'm doing right now. So I mean, I probably don't need one. But why not, right? Okay, this is gonna take too long, so I'm gonna dab my face. How's my face look, guys? Does it even look any different? 
Okay guys, I had a blast doing this Q&A with you guys while I had a fun little spa day. I definitely plan on doing more Q&As and asking you guys what you want to see on my channel, so make sure you do go follow my Instagram, it is very helpful. And if you have not yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like and comment. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.